All right, here we are. Do or die. The yeah. legends. What's up, fellas? <laughs> How you feel, King? <laughs> oh, man. It's all gravy over here, man. I can't complain. It ain't my style. Mm. You did. It's good to see y'all, man. And you're back at it. You're in your element doing what you do. The new album, Pass Out. Man. Explain yeah. that title. <laughs> Well, you know, what you know, like we were being on the streets, uh, hustling and all that, we used to do a pass out, you know what I'm saying? So like you passing out, you know, you getting you getting up free merch, you know what I'm saying? So we figured we'll put it in the contents of music. So because we had we was working on an album called The Storm, which we still working on, us and you know, a couple of features with Twister. Right. And we we was promoting it a little bit, but then we scaled back and say, let's give the people something, you know what I'm saying, before we do the actual album, it's called Storm. So we call this the pass out. It's crazy. Right, right. so uh, let's get this out of the way because somebody is going to ask this question. Like, why are they so close together? Aren't they supposed to be social distancing? We we brothers, I guess we're gonna ride all the way out to the end. <laughs> uh, that's, that's a perfect answer, man. <laughs> hey, man you, you guys are from Chicago. Chicago get a lot of bad news on the daily, and Chicago gets a bad rap around the country, oftentimes. Mm -hmm. But I've been to Chicago, I know you guys. I know people in Chicago, a lot of people in Chicago. Right. And it's just not as bad as people try to make Chicago out to be. Well, you know how that go. Well, when they put the magnifying glass on something, they look bigger than they usually supposed to look. Right. You know what I'm saying? And why do you think they're putting that magnifying glass on Chicago? Yeah, that's a good, now that's a good question. Good question. Uh, Go ahead. Good question. Um, one of the things I believe in my opinion, because it's such a large city, like it's like the third largest city, you know what I mean? And a lot of money comes in and goes out of, of Chicago. It's a very political city, you know what I'm saying, political state. And so that, you know, to to bring that type of attention uh, to Chicago, because they're trying to clean it up. You know, the politicians are trying to clean it up, you know what I mean? Right. And so if they could paint a picture like, okay, this is a bad city, it's a bad city, then you can move the people you want out and bring the people you want in. Right. You know what I'm saying? And, and and make the money that way, so it's all political. Plus, on top of that, they they keeping everything going from the kids, you know, the, putting the kids in jail and getting paid for that too. Right. You know right. what I'm saying? So you know they get paid for that. So but that's you know, I can make it. I can make it look bad, but at the same time, I could be getting paid making it look bad. Yeah. Right. Man, uh, Chicago has a sordid history of just corrupt politicians. And don't get me wrong, there's corrupt politicians all over this country. But Chicago has a special place in corruption. I mean, this is the home of Al Capone, all right? Yeah. What is it, what is it about Chicago politics that makes people go in and just day one live up to that title? Like, it's, it's almost like they want to live up to the title and nothing is ever done about it. Uh, because this is where everybody send their people to learn politics. Okay. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They send their people to Chicago to actually learn politics. You know, right. it was bred in Chicago. Huh. Yeah, mm -hmm. doggy dog state. It's like, it's like, you, if you make it here, you know what I'm saying, then you can make it, you can make it anywhere. Like the, the politics so here, but, and vice versa, if you can't make it here, then right. you can't make it nowhere. So when they coming in, they mentality is, look, you know, I got to move the who's who out the way because if you're not, you're going to get extorted. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. like, you're you going to get extorted down here, man. It's crazy. You are, know, there that any, are there any politicians that you can think of that the people trust in Chicago? The pe Politicians in Chicago that the people, when the people hear that person's name, they say, yeah, he going to look out for it. She gonna look out for us. Mm. Mm, yeah. <laughs> One. Um, you know, I'm close to a lot. Of, I'm, I'm close to a couple of politicians. Yeah. I can say, yeah, they would. Yeah. Uh, Dennis Deer, he's a commissioner. You yeah. know, from the hood. Yeah. So yeah. he's definitely one of the guys, you know what I'm saying, they def that definitely can go to 
and say, hey, man, yeah. this is what's going on. And this is, you know what I'm saying? If you tell him this is what's going on, he definitely going to look into it. So his life is pretty much on the line then. Yeah, all yeah. the time. Yeah. 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 Man, ain't that cold, man, how the good, man, uh, life can be in jeopardy and the bad just roll on through? Man, and, and, and it's funny that you say that, but what, so what's the reason behind the bad can roll on through and the good always get caught in between? The reason is because the evil people run the empire. Mm -hmm. They're at the top. They're up here. Mm -hmm. Everybody else is under them. So if you come in and you try to change that dynamic, then you are going to be at risk. That's why anybody that ever tries to help the black community, if you're for the black community, this is one of the easiest ways to realize if somebody is a sellout or not. If mm -hmm. the establishment likes them, they're probably a sellout. Mm -hmm. If the establishment hates them, they're probably for the people. Mm. That's right. Mm. That's right.